Salisbury with Marine Max here in Fort Myers, Florida, and today we're going to be talking about a 2019 Boston Whaler 350 Outrage. We've got triple Mercury's on the back as well as a joystick. Lots of neat stuff on this boat. Start up here at the bow, which is a little unusual for me, but uh, you've got the anchor windlass mounted through the bow, uh, control up here as well as at the helm. Super neat storage areas all the way up here in the front. You've got this uh, nice big well here in the front, as well as the floor storage here, dry storage. And then on each side, we've got our seats that'll raise up in great storage, dry storage underneath these. And of course, the cushions will come off, so it's very easy to make this a fishing platform. And if you want somebody to have a backrest, just raise the seat up we got a nice backrest. Big lounge area on the uh, garage area there in front of the uh, center console. Big deep storage area under there for scuba tanks as well as gear and stuff as well. Uh, nice sitting area, great ride here in this part of the boat. As we uh, head towards the back, you're going to see on each side we've got trolling seats. So there's a great spot for somebody to uh, sit while you're running those lines out the back. Our head area has a nice big secure door. Vacuum flush potty. Nice big vanity window over here as well that'll open up our master controls. Nice teak sole floor. As we head to the helm, you've got your radio box up on top, which on this one's great for storage. Dual Raymarine screens, and this boat is loaded with electronics, including uh, 3D uh, underwater, as well as radar, flare, etc. As we mentioned, joystick controls, so easy for docking, maneuvering. Right now, I've actually got the uh, sky hook in place, the virtual anchor. Notice the seating area. We've got a platform that drops down. Raise it up out of the way. And our seats have bolsters so that if you want to stand up and drive, you can put the bolsters out of the way or put them down for seating. As we walk aft, got big fish boxes on each side of the boat. One on the starboard side actually has a freezer plate in it. And of course, the big transom door heading out to the back. I've got the back seat down right now. You'll notice the photos with that stored up. And underneath there is the ladder that goes over here for the dive door. So that ladder plugs in those uh, key inlets right there. It goes overboard so it makes it easier for getting in and out of the boat or if you've got a big fish to drag through there as well. Big live bait well in the stern. Rounded corners, blue and lit as well. Big bait station here in the aft, complete with Kenyan grill, sink, can control our water systems, live wells, etc. back here. And then of course we've got rigging drawers galore. Place to put our spools align. Also, I have a sure shade that comes out here on the back. Access to the uh, hard top and, of course, the ladder that runs here alongside the frame. Electric isotherm refrigerator, shower. Of course, we've got our dockside power and generator as well. One nice feature on this boat is the engine flush operation system. One hook up, one button, flush those motors right on out. Uh, head back up here to the helm for just a second. One thing I want to talk about, these uh, triple Mercs on the back only got 190 hours on them, so uh, lots of life left in those as well as a couple of years of, uh, of warranty as well. Super nice boat, absolutely uh, wonderful. This Abaco Blue is beautiful. Come on out and give us a look-see at this boat or give me a call here at Marine Max in Fort Myers, Franklin Pillsbury. I look forward to selling you this boat.